is is oral sex permissible it is awful it is disgusting it is not acceptable but when it comes to the word halal or haram we have to find a reference the Quran says نساؤكم حرث لكم فأتوا حرثكم أن شئتم and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another ayah فإذا تطهرن فأتوهن من حيث أمركم الله so it is perfectly lawful for every spouse to enjoy his spouse the entire body except one thing فأتوهن من حيث أمركم الله is to have an intimate relationship in the orifice which is created for this season okay which is al-farj having an intimate relationship in the rear orifice is absolutely forbidden one of the major sins and it can take out of Islam that is the only prohibition in this regard similarly having intercourse during the menses وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْمَحِيضِ قُلْ هُوَ أَذَنْ فَاعْتَزِلُوا النِّسَاءَ فِي الْمَحِيضِ وَلَا تَقْرَبُوهُنَّ حَتَّى يَطْهُرْنْ فَإِذَا تَطَهَرْنَ فَأْتُوهُنَّ مِنْ حَيْثُ أَمْرَكُمُ اللَّهِ Which means they ask you concerning the minister wish say it is other harmful because of the blood that carries germs and so on the blood of the minces so whenever there is blood flow or whenever the woman is experiences the monthly period you should avoid having an intimate relationship with your spouse in this condition until she is in a state of tahara and after the tahara min حيث أمركم الله embrace them whatsoever Allah allowed you to embrace as I mentioned earlier the place where she may conceive and have a child and so on so these are the restrictions and this is what is allowed which is everything in general it is permissible for every person to see everything of his or her spouse there's something called modesty chastity shyness where for instance we know that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, never looked at the aura of his spouse and she never looked at his aura but it is not forbidden for any person to see his own aura or the aura of his or her spouse of the entire body including the major aura it is not forbidden we have to be very specific it is forbidden to touch your private with the right hand while urinating not while taking a shower not while washing yourself in the hadith of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said innama huwa bud'atun mink it's just a piece of you it's a part of you it's not something impure but one hadith requires that if you touch your private with your palm then you have to make wudu another hadith says it's just a piece of you so a combination of that indicates it is permissible to touch your body and your private as long as you're not touching your private while urinating or answering the call of nature with the right hand okay so which means that doesn't apply to touching the private of the other I know that this is a very sensitive subject but you cannot imagine how many questions we get in this regard uh, I cannot bury my head in the sand and say and act blind and neglect it because these questions are from the youth in America a college student just ask me straightforward question and she was a girl is oral sex halal or haram it is easy to say haram can you support that with a proof can you say it is forbidden due to the following reference I can only say that it is imitating animals it is disgusting it is a place of impurity it is a place of answering the call of nature how can you put your tongue and your mouth there right and that's why it's disgusting okay uh, it should be avoided because unfortunately this is all imported from the West 
Western societies who have tried everything. When they are done and finished with women and having even the worst kind of intimate relationship, which is forbidden and it leads to kufr, okay, they want to have sexual relations with the same gender, homosexuality. And when they are done with that, they moved on to animals. They will not have an end or a red line. Why? Because uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَضَلُّ مِمَّنْ اتَّخَذَ إِلَهَهُ هَوَاهُ Who is more astray than one who has taken his hawa, his lust or desire as his own God? In a sense that whatever he desires, he does. Whatever they crave for as a lust, they do. Nothing is haram or restricted. And the widespread of the STDs, sexual transmitted diseases, is simply because of that. Uh, mouth cancer, throat cancer. Think about it. The place of urination and the place of answer in the call of nature the place which is full of microorganisms, which are normal flora for this place. But it is not normal flora for the mouth, for the tongue. The tongue which says, subhanallah, the tongue which glorifies the praise of Allah, the tongue which recites the Quran. So should it be avoided? Yes, it is recommended to avoid that. This is not our tradition. But again, I cannot tell you it is forbidden because of a straightforward reference. I hope this answer is very clear. Barakallahu feekum.